hello everyone my name is benjamin and welcome back to blabben solutions so in today's video tutorial i will be walking you through another step by step with no step skip on how to create your own stamp effect using photoshop but before we begin this video let me use this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video if this is your first time of being in here this is blabben solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials so if you think videos of such nature will be of great benefit to you then i encourage you to hit on the subscribe button Make sure to like in the video and also sharing your thoughts in the comment box below. If you're already a part of this team, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin. So into the world of Photoshop, what we do always is creating a new document. Then in here, I'm going to be working with five by five inches. So I'm going to name this stamp effect. Then everything looks nice in here. So let's click on create. Good, let me zoom this out a bit by hitting my control minus on my keyboard or command minus on the so in here i have some resource that i'll be using i have this paid image that i downloaded from google and i have this my logo so first of all i'm going to import my logo in here so i'm going to be scaling this to a smaller size so now that we are done with the scaling let's hit enter on our keyboard then i'm going to import the other image but in here i'm not going to bring it onto the same working space but i'm going to put, bring it here so it creates a new working space for it for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do away with the background in here right good so with our marquee to magic one sorry magic one to select it if you can't find your magic one to don't worry just right click on this layer and go magic one right now select any part of the image and you can just click on delete on your keyboard and you sorry because the layer is locked that's why it's giving me that pop up so let me you can well let's control d to deselect this let's so let's duplicate the layer by pressing control j let's turn off the background layer now let's go back and do that same process again with our magic one to click on any part and now press uh, press sorry press delete on your keyboard and you can see we have this deleted nicely for us so press control d to deselect So in here, we can now put this image and shift it back onto the designing that we are doing. So I'm going to be leaving this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a color overlay to this. So let's come to add layer style and let's choose color overlay. Now with the color overlay, we can choose any color of our choice. So in here, I'm going to be working with this. Let me let me let me use red. Let me use red. Is it is this red? No, this is red, right? So let's use this. Let me use this color. Good. So uh let me copy the hexa code of this. Okay, okay. Then what next? The next thing is I'm going to be applying the same color to this logo of mine. But please take notice of this. The solutions. Alright, so let's do that. Better still, I can just come in here, right click on the first layer that I did. Let, let me rename this layer name it paid so let's right click on the paid layer and say copy layer star so come back to the logo and right click and say paste layer star so you realize we have the same layer style applied to the logo right good so now you can see the solution is off so what we're going to do now is we're going to type the solution and place it there right so let's type the solution solutions then i'm going to be placing this on top in here solution then i'm going to space out the text then maybe changing the color of the text to white great so now let's tidy up the layers panel by grouping some of the things that we need to group so i'm going to just group the solutions and the logo so with this layer selected control J to group this 
so let me know, name this logo and i have this paid here so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to be dragging this paid on top of the logo but before i i need to get rid of this date in here so with my layer or my layer selected sorry about that i come in here select my marquee to rectangle marquee to then i can draw on top of the date and now press delete on my delete keyboard and control d to deselect that select your move tool back again control c let's scale this big a bit and now i'm going to be dragging this on top of the logo and make it fit as if it was supposed to be there right good so this looks clumsy let me make it bigger bit. all right so there you go control uh hit enter on your keyboard and now i can easily group these two guys together and i have one stop all right so we are not finally done with the design this looks nice but i want to add a square border stroke square border stroke Jesus, square border stroke okay so i want to add a border to this effect or this stamp that i did so with my rectangle tool selected i'm going to draw something this way this way i don't need a fill color so i'm going to do away or get rid of the fill color but i need a stroke so i'm going to be selecting this color then i'm going to be selecting let me say a stroke of nine nine is perfect that is it 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 guys so let me bring this guy inside here and guys there you have it control t let me bring this skill uh let me bring this design onto the middle all right guys so there you have it we have our stamp made but well uh if you would agree with me uh, i've seen most stamps and they kind of look blurish others too uh, some portion are faded a bit so uh, i want to create that effect with the same looking stamp right good so but before i do that effect creation i'm going to duplicate this layer ctrl j then i'm going to turn off the original layer then maybe i'm going to make this smart object so let's right click on the layer and let's choose or convert to smart object good so in here we have this as a smart object so the the next step is to add a vector mask to this then we select our brush tool then i have this brush effect that i downloaded a link will be left in the description so please do want to check the description for the staffs or the resource file so you can also follow along what i'm also doing but if you are done with your project or your stamp creation you can send them to me via instagram at blab and solutions or you can type me and i'll be very very happy to share your works all right so with this effect with this brush what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be make sure your background is sorry your foreground is black then maybe your background is white okay so if you don't have that you can just press the d key on your sorry you can press the d key yes and use the x key to rotate this guys okay interchangeably so we need to do away with the some portions so it looks faded kind of so i have a video on everything you need to know about the uh, what do you call it layer mask or let me say vector max so it will be on the screen anywhere here so you can do well to watch that video as well if you don't get what i'm trying to say so i'm going to just click in here and i want to wipe some portion of so as a graphic designer you, you maybe you did a work for a client and maybe the client is requesting for a receipt after he has made payment so you can you don't necessarily have to take the receipt with your stamp on it to the person physically right you can create a digital stamp as this then you can put it on the receipt and send it via email 
or whatsapp or any through any medium to the client right so guys this part is the signature part this is where you're going to put your signature i think i didn't tell you guys but i believe you know so that is it guys this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you learned something in here thank you so much for sticking around right from the beginning till the end of this video i really appreciate you a lot if you find this video interesting please do want to give us a thumbs, a thumbs up by liking the video and uh making sure to subscribe to the channel and stay and stay tuned for more amazing content from blabber solutions until i come your way next time this is still blabber solutions and see you in my next video. I'm out.